thing we want to be able to do is track the mouse's movements uh, as it goes across that panel and so we need to like in the past with a change listener or action listener we need to add some listeners uh, now these listeners are called mouse listeners um, so we have my change listener class up here well let's create some mouse listeners so uh, we're going to create a private class called my mouse listener and again this isn't magic um, you wouldn't know about this unless you just straight learned how to use it so it implements um, mouse listener and Java is going to want us to uh, you'll probably have to import mouse listener uh, and then if you hover over this one we'll add the unimplemented methods and you can see there are five different imp uh, methods that you must implement if you claim to be implementing the mouse listener interface and one of those methods is mouse click so what do you do when the mouse is clicked what do you do when the mouse is pressed, released, entered, or exited and entered is like if it enters the frame on which the listener is sitting or I mean the panel, the container, wherever you've placed it uh, so it pays attention, it knows how to pay attention to that swing container and we're going to do some things with that. Well we also need to create a class called a private uh, class called my mouse motion listener and this is going to implement a uh, mouse motion listener and this just uh, listens for uh, when the mouse is like hovering or being dragged implements uh, and again you'll probably have to import this uh, but I already did that so I'm just going to add the unimplemented methods and so this listener is able to tell if the mouse is being dragged which will allow us to paint eventually and if the mouse is being moved if it's just above the panel not being clicked or anything if it's just moving above the panel alright and so this video we're just gonna add those things to our pan my panel object so we need to right here where we've created the change listener we're going to create private my mouse listener that's the class that we just created equals the mouse listener private my mouse motion listener the mouse motion listener and I'm just giving it these names to uh, make it clear what these objects are and now we need to under our initialize elements method actually initialize those things so the mouse listener equals new my mouse listener and the mouse motion listener equals new my mouse motion listener all right we have those new objects now we need to add them to our panel to which we have uh, not really set any uh, values for panel that set size I don't know if you have to do that actually uh, for the first one all right so panel two we're going to add our listeners panel two dot add mouse listener the mouse listener panel two dot add mouse motion listener the mouse motion listener and now again we've just added these little robots on top of our panel so that it those two robots can listen to panel two and tell if the mouse is doing anything on panel two and that's we haven't made them do anything yet that's going to be in the next video